Good morning, Space Engineers. Welcome back to Puritan. Wellington6012 here. How are you doing? Oh, good. So, yes, you find me still at the uh, the wind farm. And, uh, yeah, we, we will head out of here soon. Uh, but, yeah, I just did quite a bit of stuff off camera, actually. And, uh, yeah, it's, it's, it's actually all come out pretty well. So, pretty happy with things. Let's get on with it. And... I'll show you what I got up to. So one of the things I did is I moved this into here. A couple of timers there. We'll come back to those. Um, yeah, so I just moved the to-do list in here because I thought, well, this is my office. So really, this is where it should be. Uh, yes, so hang a forklift. Mm, yeah, we, we're not going to do that. Uh, I We'll come back to what we are going to do. We, we're going to work over here. I'll show you there in a second. First of all, I'll show you up here. Because, yeah, I've just spent a lot of time doing little niggly bits and pieces uh, that took a very long time. Just, yeah, just because. Um, so the first thing is, and I'm actually quite sort of proud of this. Uh, I don't know if proud's the right word, but I like it. It's cool. Let's just go briefly tonight so you can see a bit better. So we've got these landing lights here. Um you you shouldn't be on why are you on you should not be on um you weren't on i don't know why you're on now hmm okay anyway uh let's let's launch and you'll see what i mean that shouldn't have actually been going but they are going i wonder why they're going hmm okay uh they're going now they're meant to be going now sorry <laughs> first of all gosh uh, the, the timers, the timers, the timers, the timers. The timers are hooked up to the sensor that's on or underneath the um, the welders and just to turn them on and off is all. Uh, I thought I'd use timers rather than a group. So yeah, when we get into range, then they turn on. When we get out of range, they turn off. And then these landing lights, these are, oh, these are cool. Because I was just, it's like... Um, before they were a bit sort of messy and now they're directing you in and also they only work on the one that actually has space so they're set to uh, register that the sensors are oh, you can see them they're under there so they're set to register subgrids so not not small ships not people not players um, but subgrids so this is fine and then when it lands then it turns off so that's how i don't know why it was yeah a bit funny i did restart the game so maybe they had something to do with it anyway so yeah so this one's going because this has the room so yeah i'm liking that just a little bit of detail there just a bit of fun I also put in a timer on this for the startup shutdown because I'm really liking the startup shutdown functions on these. Makes life a bit easy. Whoa, okay, let's just not go down there. Um, in saying that, I did actually uh, put another, another one down there. So, yeah, you can get up out of off of here. So that's cool. Right. <laughs> let's go down let's not fall down the ladder again uh, oh let's just put this back to back to time okay uh, now put that ladder in here which I thought I did last time and then when I had to think about it I did put it in before but because I reloaded the game after failing to pull Dobby the drill out uh, I must it must have been it must have been uh, before I did that, so I didn't save it. Whoops. Because I was, I was sure I'd done it. <laughs> okay, so I've done a bit of work here, as you can see. It's a lot cleaner and tidier. Uh, this is parked up. So I've been having quite a bit of trouble with, as it turned out, just the settings. So I've spent a lot of time here off camera, not even actually doing anything, just trying to figure out stuff so this wasn't working for me at all um what i mean by that is 
it wasn't moving it it was really struggling on the deck and it was just actually the wheel settings in the end and there was something else oh that that had turned on that one there had turned on by itself so the stuff turning on by itself which is a little bit annoying um yeah so i could kind of drive forward and back but it just would not turn it would lock up and yeah anyway uh so i also put a startup uh timer on this as well so now this all works and yeah it it drives a lot better on the metal so yeah it was really struggling let's just get that back in place yes so uh yeah the, the one button the one button startup shutdown is a lot lot better just i think i'll just push that forward a little bit just so it's a bit freer cool okay and as you can see i've got another one here ready to plug this in but how do we get that hooked up to that because yeah trying to actually maneuver this thing is one thing but actually back a trailer is another thing altogether also it's a real struggle trying to turn on this edge and actually this whole platform so uh let alone trying to get a 90 degree like this so i'll just put that there to be out of the way for now it's not going to stay there in fact it'll probably go where this one is mm, depending on how the whole hanger sort of set out works anyway 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 so i spent a lot of time figuring out how i was going to do this and there's a clue there an antenna um i yeah i i sort of tried some things uh off camera in spect not spectator in creative mode just like putting some uh pistons in just to see if i could fit a crane in just just trial and error type stuff to see how things fit didn't get too too involved too in depth because i just could not figure it out because i even thought about having a wheeled vehicle up there that would sort of be a, a gantry uh i thought about it just a swinging arm which would probably get sort of yeah there was a few ideas and i also thought about hang a forklift so a little vehicle that could come in lift up these things and what it would do is it would have had a uh, a rotor and a landing pad on it so it would sort of so rather than steering so if i if i hang on let's just get the right button if i walk like that so rather than steering and then you know trying to back into somewhere and doing the old six point turns it would come in and it would go in under and it would lift and it would actually lock itself to the floor and rotate move forward lock to the floor rotate move forward lock to the floor rotate and so yeah i thought that could be a way to go but um but then i had a bit of an epiphany if that's a word and i thought why don't i've actually got most of the stuff on here i only need to add a couple of blocks and i can just do a remote control <laughs> which i think now that i think about it i thought about doing ages ago so i've done this one i'm going to do this one and yeah, we've actually got access here now so that's good uh, so i don't actually need a lot of parts all i need is an antenna uh, a timer I just the amount of thought that I've put into this over the past few weeks and it was actually just I've come up with a pretty simple solution highly frustrating uh, and a small reactor because quite often that's not charged right so these can because I've already got the remote on there of course that's that's the thing um where 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 okay what if I Okay, I might just yeah there's just not the same room on this one hmm um I might get rid of that battery oh just put it somewhere Wellington um okay so timer let's put that in oh that's not the right thing try that again what why can't i get that okay there we go okay 
So, actually, we could probably... Probably put the antenna in there. That would probably be the simplest thing to do. And we'll just make it the same as the other stuff. Unable to place. What? Why? Surely not. Oh, look, there's a, there's a light there. Who put that there? Okay. I don't remember doing that. Must have been that other guy. So we'll put you in there. Okay, that's cool. Uh, get the... Uh, where's it gone? Where's it gone? There it is. Put you into there. Okay, and we can cover that back up. Like so. Cool. And the timer around here. Come on, I'm sure you can go in there. What? Ah, oh, silly thing. It's just not behaving at all. Okay, timer. Okay, so this is going to be timer. Uh, cargo trailer. Remote start. Very good. Right, okay, so we'll grab some stuff. Gosh, that was a bit of lag there. Uh, da, 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 okay. Two will do. Oh, that's gravel. What's. Uh, how did I grab the gravel? Try that again. Two. Okay. Uh, let's stick you in there, and there we go, it's on. Ah. Okay, let's just uh, name you Reactor Cargo Trailer and the timer's fine and we just need to rename the antenna Antenna Cargo Trailer We can bring that actually right back to well even less than that we'll bring back to 50 yeah, so speaking of which... Cool. Okay, so that's good. So, that's on, that's on. What I'm going to do is just set these up. So, we'll turn you on, to the steering on. Turn the steering on. Also, we'll put that on the toolbar. Put that on the toolbar. Okay, and all all the wheels will turn on, which will make sense in a sec. So the timer. So when we turn this on. We'll turn the reactor off, so not on off, just off, so it will always shut down when we exit. We want to turn that on off. We want to do the front wheel steering on off, and steering on off, and then the wheels on off, and then that's it. That's it, I think. Yeah, okay. Um, so, if I just come up here, maybe, where I can see. Uh, oh, actually, hang on. Let's just get rid of you. Oh, gosh. Lag. <laughs> okay, so that should be operational now. 
So I haven't got my suit one on, so press O to turn that on and control. So oh hang on. Um so we should be in the remote now. So if we do what handbrake on off uh and then trigger that so that'll be what i do when i exit so uh no we're not working why are we not working um they're on Why is it not working? Propulsion override? Why is that like that? Oh, there we go. And we can steer? We can steer. Ha ha! Right. So I'm still in control, just trying to get a bit of a better view. Oh. Okay. Uh, okay, we'll get out of it. So now I can run around. Let's just get that grinder off. Somebody will lose an eye. Okay, so if we stand here, go back into it. And, yeah. Ah, there we go. So now we should be able to drive this. Just try and line it up. Actually, just before I do that. Oh gosh, lag. Real laggy today. Hmm. Okay, uh, jumping again. Oh, I know what I need to do. I know what I need to do as well. Um, the the connector. Uh, Trying to start set up actions. So that needs to switch lock. So if it's locked to a connector, it will unlock. And if it's near a connector, it will lock. Okay, so that's good. A little bit. Could do with it going a little bit slower. But how's that? I mean, that's close enough. So now, if I press this, it should shut everything down and reset everything. Which. It has. Yeah, it's still connected to power, that's why it was. I didn't get kicked out of it. But you're off. You are off. And. Your steering is off as well. So we'll just an assumption the other side is. Okay, so that's, that's that. Easy peasy. So we can now move these around. So that's that's real good that's really good um yeah cool okay well that's that um so yeah i think we now that we've got those locked down nice safe and secure uh oh and just just for the record that there um that magnetic plate the reason it's connected to the chassis rather than the wheels is because when you connect these wheels to those magnetic plates they do some real strange things um yeah so i've i had quite a bit of trouble when these were just you know randomly parked over here when i first put them on i was always having trouble with the squishing down and pushing up and uh, it's just yeah so that that's the way to do it which is why i haven't uh because some somebody did query what i will suggest um, why well, didn't put one of those upside down and that way you could just drive over it and park on it because um, I did that in special delivery but it didn't work I couldn't actually use it right 
so yeah okay so now it's time to leave it's been a good spot here but we need to move on so let's go down uh, oh there's an awful lot of banging as well so this now I've got a function on there which this turns off this turns off yeah it turns off so it just drops down so it sits, sits, uh, sits on the ground so I don't have to get it so close anymore um, having said that I think I'll turn it on and get it up off the ground because of what I'm about to do next although I'm quite nervous about this next little thing um, so that one there turns on yeah and it lifts cool I'll just lift you up okay just so it's not touching the ground but I think I can still oh, maybe I can't yeah Ugh, okay we'll deal with that later uh, yes so uh, it's time to leave batteries are all full you are oh, actually hang on let's get all that we'll take that uh, yeah so hmm nice little cabin we'll shut the door so it'll be here later now okay so that's locked that's fine but this is okay get rid of that uh, we'll just shove it all in there uh, now think about it actually I didn't need to worry about this okay that's not worse plan B oh no steel Okay, plan C, jetpack. Okay. Because I'll be up here when I unhook it. <laughs> Alright, so let's, uh, let's do you and do you and rotate you. Oh, that's on. Try that. There we go. Okay, so uh, is one of these, I think, yes, so that's unlock trigger house, yeah, okay, and that's, so that should be the parking brake, yes, okay, alright, yeah, not looking forward to this, but let's give it a go, ready, steady, oh gosh, okay, that was actually okay, <laughs> that moved a little bit, moved a little bit, yeah, I don't know why it skipped sideways, that's real, I mean, look how far it's gone, hmm, okay, uh, just while that's doing that, I will jump into here, and find those three blocks, them okay so yeah we're gonna sort of head in that direction over there and yeah what I might do is um, before I sort of okay so that's good before I get going oh gosh noises um, so that's fine. Oh, actually, this is something I wanted to check. So where does that actually... So, okay, so that's, that's level with that beam. Because I'm just thinking... About replicating these ribs on the other side. So they... They're a half block and they come out one, two, three, four. Okay, so that comes out about two. And yeah, as I say, they're, they're in line with that. So, hmm, if, but they're actually in between. If I just raise that, that would mean it would go out backwards one more block when it was down. It wouldn't impact on anything. Hmm. Okay, 
I think we'll let Future Wellington worry about that. Okay, well, uh, what I'm going to do is, yeah, I'm going to head off over in that direction. And, yeah, basically try and get out of these badlands because, yeah, it's not nice down here with the behemoth. Um, try and get on some sort of flatter ground. Yes, so what I'll do is, yeah, just... I'll stop the recording and I'll go and I'll just change some settings on my recording to see if I can record the journey. I just, I, I slow down the frame rate um, for such a long, because I think this is going to take a while, so we'll see see how things go. Um, yeah, either, either it'll be a cut or a sped up thing or a montage, I'm not too sure what I'm going to do, so we'll just, yeah, fingers crossed. Stand by. Okie dokie, uh, just having a bit of a scope out and yeah, unknown signal just about dropped on top of me. So yeah, I'm just trying to figure out how to sort of uh, get up on this plateau. Because uh, I think this is where I want to be because it's just, there's lots of wide open spaces but it's just atrocious travelling through this terrain. It really is. Um, so I'm thinking... I'm thinking if I hit that on sort of an angle, um, then I should be able to get up here. I mean, actually where this has landed is kind of not bad either. Well, it's not good, but <laughs> it's not bad. And then over here there's another... Thing is, 
Okay, I had a lot of trouble. So that that was an hour. It, it, I don't know what I'm going to do with the editing. Um, you'll know by now. But I think I'm going to have to keep it in because just to show you how long it actually was. This has been a big chunk of my day. Uh, it was over an hour to drive that. And oh, see that's not too bad a slope. I'm just wondering if I hit that on an angle with a... Or, 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 or... Um, as I was just about to say, the actual uh, loading in of the voxel has been problematic. Yeah, see, that's... Mm, it looks okay from up, from reasonably close, you know. And then it just, yeah, turns to, turns to rubbish. I do have a bit of a plan, though. A plan B. Um... And then the other problem is I don't actually know what sort of, how, how big the <laughs> scale has gone out the window. I'm going to put a GPS mark here and I'm going to actually give this a go. Um, I'm, I'm not confident, not confident at all it's going to get up, but as I say, I do have a plan B, but that's actually not too bad. Because there's one thing to get up on that first little bit, then it's another thing to actually get up here. Uh, but yeah, as I say, I think up here is where I want to be, because this terrain is no worries for the behemoth. Um, the, the issues I was having, and I did have issues, was actually just on some little, little steps, like, like we're just trying to get up here. I'm not talking about up onto the plate, I'm just talking about this, you know, sort of start of the little steps. See, that's actually not too bad there. If, if I got up on there, I could potentially travel along the edge here okay we'll give we'll give that a go as well we'll make that number three so yeah there's options uh, I'm actually just parked over here around the corner yeah so uh, sort of it was trying to just get up on a, on a little step like what's under me now seems simple enough I know the rover would just handle it absolutely no problems but uh yeah it's it's just trying to keep all the wheels on the ground uh to get some traction that's really what it comes down to but uh yeah that was that was just an absolutely exhausting drive it really was so uh yeah i will i will be calling it a day soon we'll have a go at climbing up this but uh Plan B, which I'm likely to have to do, um, is not going to be today. So I think I think today's been long enough. I think I talked about it last episode that it's ac actually just making these making the series is actually quite tricky. It's um. It's different from the end of Ares Colony and I'm a bit high. It's different from the end of Ares Colony and uh, Far From Home where just the sheer size of the build was what was sort of um, was what was causing me uh, long episodes. Um, this is just the technicality of it all and just the the sh the, the distance I'm traveling um yeah so i hope it's coming through all right on the videos i mean i'm, I'm happy with the videos but you know as, as i say it's it is um i am finding it a new oh this is very loud i am finding it a new challenge uh doing this doing the series um let's see what's yeah, and it just doesn't seem to be travelling as well at the moment, this behemoth. Um, I think it's just all the extra weight on it. And it didn't, it didn't get off to a very good start as well, that the front wheels were in a hole. <laughs> An explosion type hole. Alright, so yeah, it's going to take me about 5 or 10 minutes to get over there, so I will uh, skip ahead I think. Okay, here I am, 
I think. I think that's the mark. Yeah, if I just sort of hit that on an angle. Right. Um, spoiler alert, if the name of this episode is Escaping the Badlands, then, I'll make, then I've made it up. <laughs> but if the name of the episode is Navigating the Badlands, <laughs> I didn't make it. <laughs> we'll see how it goes. As I say, not confident, in fact, it's looking quite narrow as I get close. Oh, up go the wheels. Come on. Grip, 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 grip. Grip. Okay, that's just simply not working. I'll have another run at it try and thread the needle a little bit better it takes an awful lot to stop this thing I am on the brakes we will try the parking brake parking brake works a bit better ok just try and get back to this rock if I can get up there, it would be good. Right. Where we go. Charge. And... Up, 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 up. Come on, you can do it, 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 you can do it. Grip, fine grip. Hmm. Okay. That wheel kind of went in that hole. Just gonna try and... Try and get a little bit left. Okay, about there. One more go, and then I'll head over there. Okay, come on. Come on, Behemoth, you can do it. Actually, I don't think it can, but <laughs> we'll keep trying. <laughs> Okay, I'm just gonna steer that way. Up, 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 up. Come on, get some grip. Get some grip. No, it's not gonna do it. Okay, but is that no? We'll, we'll give over. We'll give over the other side a go. See, it's not, not that bad there, you know, it's just, I just don't have enough speed to have enough momentum to get, to get up these things. Right. Okay, this way. So plan B is going to involve that piston on the front. And yeah, I just, oh, I'm never going to have to take another go at that. And if that's the case, it'll be a tomorrow thing. Um, because I'm thinking that I might adjust the locking foot on the front. So it'll basically be repurposing that lift. Because, yeah, we'll set up a different 
different system for leveling this. Oh, gonna have to turn the noise down on this because it's very loud. Okay, so you can handle these lumps and bumps. Some sort of. I don't know whether it's just the extra mass or what the story is, but it just does feel like it's not quite as reactionary to going over bumps and stuff. Like the the landing gears are just slow to react. They don't have inertia on them, do they? And uh, Oh, hang on, that one's off, but it's not part of the group. Okay, uh, let's just behemoth axles, add that to it. So that's a pitch, back pitch. So they are, just looking at those, they seem to be alright. They're all off. None of them have got nurse tension on them, so that's fine. Okay. Right. We'll give this a go. And then we'll, I mean, there's no way I'm going to get up there. Well, no, then again, it's, it's, I, I feel like it's more about grip than actual power. Because this has climbed up some interesting places. It is a lot heavier though. I mean it's got a million, million iron in it so that's going to weigh it down. Okay, I'm just a bit worried about that bump there. And just for the record, the trees were already dead before I ran over them. Okay. Come on. Just get some grip. Get some grip. Just okay. Right. I failed. Hmm. Disappointing. Shall I just just try up in that in that gap? I didn't think it was, uh, yeah, I think it's not wide enough for me. Over in the corner there, no, nah, that's just going to be too difficult. I think, I think this is going to be the spot, because I mean it's straight up. And I could build a ramp and those sorts of things, but, um, no, I think not. It's just... So when it gets grip, it's able to haul itself up. It's just not having that grip. Because those hinges just will not settle down. So we got grip on the left, but we're, we're lifted on the right. And that's, I guess, just the issue with the behemoth. It's not an issue. It's not a design fault, it's just the way it is. It doesn't pivot in the middle. So we're going to have these problems. Right. That's that. <laughs> end, of, end of story. Um, yeah, we're going to have to... We're going to have to get... A different mechanism to get out of here. Ugh, oh, gosh. Okay. Uh, let's just get out of that because that's just damaging my ears. Um, 
but yeah, that's that's been, I think, a pretty good day. I mean, look, we're not even on the slope, and we're on quite a slope, you know, so it's not as though, I, I don't think the camera does justice to what the behemoth is actually trying to climb. <laughs> so, you know, this is not an insignificant slope. <laughs> So yeah, we'll use we'll use this thing. Um, I think that's just in the absolute perfect place uh, to to have have a nudge at uh, pulling ourselves up. So yeah, I've got got a bit of an idea about what I think could help. Um, yeah, it would be good to have two actually, but uh, yeah. All right, so yes, um, should we go up on the pad? We'll go up on the pad, and that's where we'll call it today, because uh, it's been a very, very long one for me. Uh, it's, luckily, it's a public holiday today here in my hometown. So yes, Wellington anniversary, ha! Ah, that's what it is. Um. Ah, uh, yes, so, um, we are moving quite a bit, aren't we? Now <laughs> I've got the static camera in place. Ooh, okay, we'll have to sort that out. So, uh, yes, thanks everybody for watching today. Hope you did enjoy today's episode, and can join me again tomorrow when we will try and, yeah, summit that mild slope. <laughs> uh, yes. Um, yeah, so that's it. Until next time, stay safe out there everybody, and have a good one.